to Deadly Dames and this is part two of October's pickup video um, for Halloween and as you can see it is actually all about Halloween. I was going to try my best to sort of put things down but I sort of figured because it's mainly posters that it was extremely difficult to do that and put down the DVDs that I've picked up and Blu-rays that I've picked up because I was kind of needing those things to hold down the posters. Um, I know that the new Halloween movies had really mixed reviews but I was one of the people that absolutely loved it. I can kind of see why it got mixed reviews because it's a very fast paced movie and there was a lot of things that were kind of left up to your imagination but I, I absolutely loved the movie. I think it's a sequel that I personally was waiting for but that's not what this video is about, it's a pickup video. I was extremely lucky that my local cinema gave me this humongous poster. So that's the first thing in a pickup video. But as I said to you, um, I kind of needed to use some of the items that I've picked up. I've said the remainder of October because I didn't do anything last week. So we'll say week, two week pick up video um, to hold the poster down. So it's a bit of a strange way that I'm having to do this video. So uh, second thing I picked up, which is holding down the poster, is the soundtrack to the new Halloween movie. I thought that John Carpenter, and I know it was his son, and I think it's his godson that did it with him. Um, did a fantastic job of the soundtrack for this new movie um, so as soon as they announced it I was I was going to get the vinyl but what ends up happening is that I put I digitally then have to get the vinyl because I end up listening to most of them on my iPod anyway I digitally then have to get from a vinyl onto my computer and then onto my iPod anyway so I just thought you know what I'm going to get the CD because it, it's just as quick um, I may in the future may end up picking up the vinyl but for just now I was happy to get the CD <coughs> excuse me I felt that cough coming from the minute I pressed play but I've tried to pre record this twice and I thought right I'll try and hold the cough in but it is the season of catching colds <laughs> so I thought I would try and make my way through the whole video without coughing and I failed but anyway um, yeah so I got the, the CD um, which obviously matches this mammoth poster my aim is when I redo my spare room to make it into a, because I keep reptiles as well, um, in the future is to try and get this huge poster up because I, I love it. I love how it's all dark with the the old um, faded mask and I will want this up one day. Um, but for just now it's been stored and I just love it on the CD as well. <clears throat> I've only picked up one Arrow video um, this year in the sale. Um, and it's uh, Flowers in the Attic. I know it's a bit of a depressing movie. It's been a very long time since I've watched it. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go again. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, there goes my voice again. Um, and I picked up this Twice Told Tales. I love, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Vincent Price. And I thought, I've never seen this one. And I thought, I want to give it a go. It is a DVD. There wasn't a blurry there. And I thought for a fiver, I'm going to give it a go. As you can see, I haven't opened it yet. It's from FOP. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I thought I'm going to pick this one up. Before I move on to the other poster, um, I did go see John Carpenter live. It was absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad that I can finally not knock that off my to-do list. Uh, before I die list, should I say. Um, I missed him the first time he came to Scotland. He went to Edinburgh and I regretted it. So when he announced he was coming back to Glasgow, I was like, I definitely want to go see him. I... Thought, so I'm sliding off the sofa so I can come down and show you some of the things I got. I was going to do the meet and greet and the reason why I didn't was because one, it was very expensive and two, I was absolutely terrified that, because I've met some people who were on my dream list and they didn't quite live up to what I wanted them to be, <clears throat> I'm not going to name any of them. and. You know what, I'm going to have to drink water, otherwise I'll keep coughing. <clears throat> and I really didn't want John, John Carpenter to be one of those guys. And I've heard that he's not now. And I'm like, no. And for the price, I thought, no. And then what happened was Claire ended up buying me the VIP. Mainly because we didn't, we've been to things like this before. Like we went to see Silent Hill Live. And there was absolutely no merchandise and we thought what if we go and you can't get anything signed and then we went obviously and there was loads of stuff signed but anyway we managed to get this really cool 
a limited edition poster. Oh, sorry about the glare. It's in a sleeve at the moment till we get a frame. And you did get some really cool t-shirts. And um, these are were ones that were for sale, so we're really glad that we got them. So now I'm trying to this one one-handed. So we've got two of these: one for me, one for Claire. And it's the thing t-shirt, and I absolutely love this. I do kind of wish that I got to meet the, the man himself, but at the end of the day I didn't, so. And it's the anthology one, so there's one for Claire and one for me, as I said. And then you do get these little VIP lanyards. And they did make me laugh, because it basically says VIP, no anything, <laughs> which kind of made me laugh. You're VIP, but you get nothing. I did buy Claire another, oh sorry, you get these as well, you get little tote bags. So funny, I've got so many tote bags now, um, Arrow and A to E and I've got Strange Vice and oh, I've got, i trying to think of all the other ones, like I think every type of like special, i trying to think of all the ones, uh, like any limited edition companies. Uh, there's a the John Carpenter one. So I've got two of everything because Claire got them as well. <clears throat> But yeah, I got Claire the, because we've I've got an old school Halloween one. But I actually bought Claire one too, but because they look both the same, she said I stretched them with my boobs, so she doesn't want to wear them now. Uh, so I bought Claire this one, of the new Halloween, um, which is just for her. Obviously matches the poster and the CD. Um, so yeah, that's all the stuff apart from one poster, which I'll show you in a second when we move over. Yeah, uh, for the new uh, from John Carpenter show. And then just up the top here, I also picked up the new Walking Dead graphic novel. Not ready yet. And if you just bear with me, I'm going to move <coughs> over to show you the last thing we got. Um, I couldn't resist this. So this was from the merchandise stall. As I said to you, this is probably the only type of event like this from um, something like the John Carpenter thing. Where, I'm trying to think who else we've been to. I think we went to... Legend of Zelda and then Silent Hill Life, which is from something like a game or um, John Carpenter movie thing. We've been to see Psycho live as well, but the, you don't get a lot of merchandise of these things. But John Carpenter, there was hundreds of merchandise and it was all signed. Not all of it, obviously, but there was a lot of stuff signed. And John Carpenter's, there was loads. Um, but I absolutely loved this uh, and I wanted it. I didn't need it but I wanted it um, and this is definitely going up on the wall um, as you can see it's signed as well uh, we're going to give our other I'll take these back off the other one like this is going to my sister so she's extremely happy about that um, other things I picked up is a new season of Ash vs Evil Dead but I haven't started to watch it yet I'm going to be binge watching this over the next couple of days got the new Night of the Creeps release. I gave the other one to my sister, so she's really happy about that. I did pink, pink, pick up this release of Pump Up the Volume. I have a sweet spot for that movie. Sweet spot? Soft spot is what I actually meant to say. Um, 80s Christian Slayer movies like this and The Heathers, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, what's the other one called? It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, he's got Patricia Arquette in it as well. You guys will probably tell me it. It's gone right out of my head. I want to say bad something, but that's not it. Is it bad romance? I think it is. But they're like the three movies with him in it. And for whatever reason, I just really like those three films. And, uh, but for whatever reason, this one's never had a decent release. And I had like a copy from VHS from years ago and it just doesn't play very well and then I found this DVD release and it, I've been holding off and holding off for a Blu-ray no one's releasing it and now that I've bought this probably not very good DVD someone will release it on Blu-ray but I bought it anyway so uh, yeah I picked that one up and then this amazing Night the Demons release from Indicator that's the other tote bag I was thinking of I still need to pick up the William Castle release I was just kind of holding off until I had some spare funds but yeah, I like this Night the Demon, it's kind of cheesetastic. But yeah, that's everything that I've picked up for the remainder of October. You guys know I've been sort of being good with the things that I'm buying. I'm only really buying what I really, really want. I think you'll probably find that that um, Bone Castle is on my really, really want list. And I'll pick it up soon. But yeah, 
I am I'm going to be going to carve some cum eh, some cum some pumpkins is what I was trying to say. Finished decorating the house. I had the help of the cats. They don't help. They just run about trying to jump on pumpkins. But yeah, that's um, everything that I've picked up for the remainder of October. I'm still waiting for those <clears throat> special editions to come through of the John Carpenter stuff. And I think Candyman should be due soon. I hope. So I really wanted to watch it. Uh, I want, really want to watch Prince of Darkness. And they live. But I've been holding off until the special editions come through. And I think I've got In the Mouth of Madness on my my to to be watched list then um, I've been wanting desperately wanting to watch it for days. Um but yeah let me what let me know what's on you guys um Halloween night watch pile and as always um thank you for watching please um let me know what as I said I don't know what I keep saying but please like and subscribe and take care.